All right, hello, and welcome back to Cozy Mystery Review, first in the series. And I'm Amber, so today we're going to take a look at our third book in our review series, our theme of pets for January. And our third book is Lending a Paw by Lori Cass. And as I mentioned in my TBR video, the whole reason I chose this book, well, it's very pet centered, which is what we're doing in January to be very cozy and warm with our with our pets. Um, but I chose this one because Bookmobile, Bookmobile. Like I remember that was my favorite day of the week in elementary school is when the Bookmobile was coming to my school or to my neighborhood or the pool or wherever they were going. And I would just beg my mom and we would always get things on the bookmobile. So I was so excited about this, <laughs> um, that this, that we, in this one, um, we meet, um, uh, Minnie and she is, um, she has recently in the last couple of years moved up to Lake Michigan or, you know, in that area of Lake Michigan, she's decided to live on a houseboat. Awesome. And uh, she works as an assistant director at the local library and she has like gone on this whole campaign to get a bookmobile um, up and running, much to her boss's dismay, right? So she's got a little bit of a nemesis in that boss there, which I tell you what, if you've ever had like a super micromanagey boss, like you're going to read this and be like, mm, I know you, <laughs> I know I have for sure. So um, she and her cat, Eddie, who she uh, recently found as a stray, live on her houseboat and he stows away in the bookmobile and becomes the unintended bookmobile cat, which is super cute. He's also very kind of helpful and central in the plot, which is great. Again, if you're gonna show me a book with a pet on it, I better be seeing the book, the, the pet in the book. Um, now, what's really cool about this one, I love the concept here where, so Minnie like had to do this whole bookmobile thing on her own, right? Her boss was against it, was not wanting anything to do with it. So she had to go out and get everything, the funding, the tools, all of that together. And she found um, a benefactor who's like the rich guy, right? He's this huge real estate developer um, <clears throat> and uh, his name is Stan. So Stan's like this really big real estate developer and moved back and she got him to write a very, very large check to cover the cost of running a bookmobile. So she and he are, you know, our, our recent friends. Um, the first day out with the bookmobile, she discovers him murdered. And so of course she feels very indebted to him and wants to investigate and figure out like what happened to this man because he was so great. Come to find out she's kind of the only person who thought he was great. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that always how it happens? So she's um, going around investigating his murder with Eddie, her silver tabby. Um, what I really liked about this book, again, bookmobile. Um, so because it is a mobile situation, you do get to see a lot of the town, which I really enjoy. Like you get to see the lake, you get to see you know, downtown, you get to see different places, you get to see the library, you get to see different um, people in the community, which I really enjoy kind of just being in that world with the main character. Um, she's also a very passionate character. Like you could tell she, the, um, you could tell she really loves what she does. She loves like, being a librarian. She loves all of this. And what Lori Cass does so beautifully is that balance of like, I, you know, the main character really enjoying what they do for a living, but then also having a life, <laughs> right? And I feel like some authors take it too far one way or too far the other way sometimes. So that was really interesting. Um, and I really, um, <laughs> I really enjoyed the cat's, uh, personality. Um, Lori Cass does a really good job of giving Eddie like his own unique personality. And you know, how is it that a cat lives on a houseboat? And how is it that a cat goes on the bookmobile and all of that kind of thing? It was great. I do have a few uh, criticisms of the book, some things that I felt like took away from the story. The middle is a little bit draggy. Um, it's a little slow in the middle, which, you know, 
that the middle is kind of the bane of every author's existence and I get that but it is a little slow in the middle um, where she just is kind of going around to different locations but not getting a lot out of it so I feel like there were a, a few chapters where I didn't really learn anything um, about the characters or about the plot which was a bummer um, and I also kind of felt like they could have done a little less dialogue. Like I think feel like Cass maybe had a little too much dialogue with the cat. There's a little bit too much like text saying meow in there. And it almost felt like it almost felt like a paranormal. Um, like the the cat's behavior and, and kind of cat dialogue. Almost felt like it was a paranormal cozy where, you know, the witch main character has a familiar that's a cat and that cat and they actually have a dialogue back and forth um, without the paranormal part. And so it was a little confusing why this cat was kind of talking so much. So I felt like that could have been dialed back a little bit. But really, overall, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I probably will read the next one in this series and I hope you enjoy it as well. It is definitely a nice escape read since they're on Lake Michigan and it's the summer and it's the lake and all of that kind of thing, which is nice when you can't go anywhere, still in a pandemic. So it was kind of a nice um, nostalgic read, pet read, and also escape read. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope it's helpful to you and I'll see you for our last book of January.